What's up everyone? Appreciate y'all coming here and checking out this video. I know it has been a while since I've last uploaded. That's the reason why I decided to make this video, just to update you guys a little bit over what's been going on in my life. There's been some pretty life-changing things that's been happening here lately, and I figured I would share a little bit over what's been going on. Anyway, some of you guys may know, a while back ago I did mention how my daughter has a disease called CMV, which made a lot of things complicated with her health. To summarize some things that happened, she was born with something called CMV, which led to a lot of complications for her and her health. Um, she eventually needed a hearing aid in one ear, and then she eventually needed another hearing aid in another ear, and then she needed her frequencies turned up, and then that's when we were recommended steroids to help slow down the hearing loss. And we also learned about the scarring that's in her brain as well from the CMV that she was born with. So we had her on steroids for a little while, and that truly did help calm down the hearing loss, which was great. So, you know, things were calming down, at least we thought. After a little while, after all that, um, her hearing got so bad that she wasn't even able to hear out of one of the hearing aids. Uh, her other hearing aid just had to be turned up to a higher frequency, but in one of her ears, even with the hearing aid, she wasn't able to hear anything out of it. And then the doctor, well, we had multiple doctors. She actually has a medical team. Uh, we eventually, though, got recommended something called a cochlear implant. So, yeah, she actually had brain surgery a few months back. And, well, here are the results after the surgery when we first turned on the cochlear implant. You can get something to put it on if you need a better angle. That works. Okay. Oh, my goodness. What'd you do? Right now it's still off, yeah. Still off. Okay. Alrighty, and now I'm gonna turn it back on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she's hearing. You can see us. Yeah. Mm. Hey. Hey. Turned on, we got that real quick eye blink, I saw which she recovered from quickly, which is good. I'll probably leave it around here for um, the weekend, which is nice, is because she's here every day. Mm -hmm. um, I'll be seeing her really often over the next couple of weeks. And you guys will have the comfort of knowing, you know, is she going to stay for the day today? Yeah. Okay. So she'll be here for the day. Um, it is not uncommon to see a stronger reaction at home as opposed to here or on day two in terms of like getting it put on. So you can feel comfortable powering through with, we're gonna put this on, we know it's okay. Okay. Um, Cause we want you, we don't want you to have any concerns that it's it's too much. Right. right. So if she's here all day and we know she's fine, then we know any response that we get tomorrow morning or tonight, it's behavioral. Okay. Um, which is perfectly normal cause you're a little one, right? Yeah. You're allowed to have behaviors. You're allowed to not like things, huh? <laughs> That's for life, but. I'm going to go ahead and save everything, um, and then Erin can even take Aaliyah back to the toddler room, and then, you, um, then we can go over kind of all the pieces and parts and things like that. That sounds great. So, yeah, there you have it. That's a little after her surgery at her school when we first got her cochlear implant turned on. For the most part, things seem to be looking up and calming down, thankfully. Um, there was at one point where we thought she wasn't even going to be able to walk on her own. She was going to need a walker to help, you know, get her around. But she's up and walking. You know, things are looking up. And we thought at one point she may have major vision loss as well. But, you know, she doesn't have any complications there. So, you know, I've just been trying to look at a more positive note and thinking, you know, things could always be worse. And at one point they might have been, but thankfully they're not. That's how I've been trying to think. But as you heard... In that clip that I just showed you after her surgery getting the cochlear implant turned on there are lots of appointments and on top of that there's also lots of learning and understanding over this it's a whole new world for us to adapt to like we've also been trying to learn how to sign over time as well so 
yeah, there's just been lots of learning and understanding. Not to mention, we also managed to get her into a special school for the deaf for a starter program for her. Some of you might have heard at the end of the clip where I just showed you of her getting her cochlear implant first turned on. They were going to take her back to the toddler room. And yeah, that's actually the school that she's going to. That's the starter up program for her. She was only there for half days, but it really helped out her progress and her development. These years are extremely important for her and her development. But yeah, we actually managed to get her in this special school for the deaf from thankfully someone on her care team. She helped us a lot with getting her into the school. And all of her peers pretty much as well have cochlear implants of some kind. So yeah, the school has been a huge help. She was only going for half days. The doctor recommended this for like a Kickstarter program for her and her development. And it helped a lot. Um, she's actually about to be going for full days on Monday. She's actually starting school. My son actually started school the other day. Let's just say I was super nervous. I was probably more nervous than him, but I tried to not act like I was. But man, uh, things went smooth. Like he rode the bus, no troubles, and he went to school and he loved it. So I don't know, it was just a parent of me worrying, you know, he's on the bus and then he has to go get off the bus and find his class. But yeah, they guide them. So I don't know why I worry about that kind of stuff. Everything went smooth and he's actually enjoying school too, which is great. But I will be starting to have more time to make content once she goes back to school full time on Monday. Which my daughter just recently turned three. So these years are extremely important for her and you know her development. But yeah, that's the reason why I was so big on trying to support St. Jude a little while back as well. Because it was something extremely close to home to me. And I wanted to support something like that. Uh, so yeah, I've been really investing time into learning, understanding, and investing into making new memories with my family over their summer break. It's just been a whole new world and I feel like it's extremely important, especially you know, after her going through brain surgery. And on top of all this, I actually moved out to another location to be closer to my family. I actually moved back to around where I used to live. So yeah, that was a pretty big life-changing thing right there, just moving in general but a few months after we moved here and got settled my grandma ended up passing away and she didn't live too far whatsoever from me and, and here does my parents my parents live right by my grandma and yeah my grandpa was already long gone so it was good that my parents were nearby to you know help my grandma with things that she may need help with after getting up there in that age but yeah, she unfortunately passed away, and a little after that, we had the funeral, and that was actually the first time I've ever had to help carry a casket. Uh, but yeah, after that happened, that in general brought us more family time, and I also was helping you know my parents move into where my grandma used to live, and that took time as well. Not to mention the process too of them having to get uh, the house ready to be sold. Um, yeah, just things have been really stressful here lately. Like some very big life-changing events have happened here lately. But things seem to be smoothing out now and calming down. You know, of course things aren't really ever the same losing a loved one, but um, just in general things have seemed to be looking up for the most part and I'm thankful for that and I'm thankful that you know once again my daughter is in a school that is really really helping with their development and I'm thankful that I'm also able to be around to help with them there's just been a lot more work than usual and I just haven't really been uh, investing as much time into making content I've been investing more time into making memories with them and just trying to uh, help. But yeah, I wouldn't even be able to spend as much time as I would if it wasn't for a lot of you guys as well for all of your support that you have given me over time on this channel. You know, it is kind of necessary of me to at least explain what's been going on in my life and why I haven't exactly been uploading as frequently and been focusing as much on creating content. Hopefully this helps explain a bit and I appreciate all of you that continue to stick with me and continue to show my channel support. Of course, you know, in the end that is totally your decision if you want to stick around. 
but some of you are still around and watching this video and I do highly appreciate that. Just wanted to be clear, I do appreciate all of your guys' support. But yeah, that's why I haven't been uploading here lately, guys. Anyways, thanks everyone for taking the time, watching and listening to this video. I'm out of here. Peace.